Maddie has just brought to us at our wildlife shelter a deceased kangaroo that she's found by the side of the road. Um, Mum's dead and there's a young pinky in the pouch. Maddie wasn't sure if it was old enough, so she's brought it here to us and um, she's going to extract the joey from the pouch and we'll assess whether the joey is viable or not. So what Maddie's doing now is she's actually got some round nose scissors and she's cutting the pouch open so that she's got easier access. We could probably pull the joey out of the pouch but we have to be sure that we're not, it's not attached to the teeth when we do it. So the best thing to do is to cut the pouch open and you can see that it's not too grisly there's no blood, there's mum's deceased, there's no pain, there's no blood, it's just tissue and she's cutting that pouch open to expose the joey. Oh look at it. And look the dear little thing, you can see, oh, you can't see so well, the lighting's not great. Oh you can see, see how the joey is still attached to the, to the teat. So what we must never do is we must never ever pull the joey off the teat. You must cut the teat because it's fused and you will injure the joey or damage its mouth irrevocably. So Maddie, if you want to cut that teat and we don't have to worry about the joey swallowing the teat, it's okay. So the light balance is awful, but joey, she, Maddie's very carefully cutting that teat, ensuring that she's keeping the pinky's feet out the way. Would you like me to yes, hold those hold down? And she's cutting that teat. It's just one simple snip. It's not that grisly. It can be done. We're often frightened when we see you know, the idea of having to open a pouch. And look, here's the poor bubby. Now you can see the eyes are closed. They're, set, they're not capable of opening and the ears are down. This is a non-viable joey. So sadly, it's going to have to be euthanized. But look, there are worse things than death. It would be sadder and worse for this joey to be left in the pouch, to die from being eaten by ants or just to die slowly and in the cold. <coughs> so, well, let's wrap this joey up because even though we're going to euthanize it, we're going to be as kind as possible right to the end. And we will take that. You can either take this joey to a vet or to a wildlife shelter or um, if you have someone who can face it, they could dispatch the joey themselves with blunt force trauma. Um, it's sad, it really is, but it's necessary and we've been able to ensure that this poor pinky has a good death rather than dying a slow, painful, horrible death.